This is chapter 9, and we're going to learn how to relate fractions and decimals in this entire chapter. We're going to relate tenths and decimals in this lesson. A decimal is a number with one or more digits to the right of the decimal point, and the decimal point is to the right of the ones place value. There are many more place values that represent amounts less than one whole. And these place values are decimal place values that start at tenths. So we have our ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands that we're used to seeing. But here, to the right of the ones place is a decimal point. Then we have tenths. See how it ends with THS? We have hundredths, thousandths, and it keeps going. As we move towards the left, the place values represent greater amounts. See? We're going from tenths, which are less than one, to ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, to becoming greater amounts. As we move towards the right, the place values represent lesser amounts. Hundreds are less than thousands. Tens are less than hundreds. Ones are less than tens. Tenths are less than ones. And hundredths are less than tenths. See? Here we have one whole model that is shaded. There's 10 equal parts. All 10 are shaded. That's 10 tenths. That's equal to one whole. We can write it as 1 and 0 tenths. We can also just write it as a 1, couldn't we? It's 10 of 10 equal parts that are shaded. Here we have 1 of 10 equal parts shaded. We have 1 tenth shaded. It's written as 1 tenth. We can also write it as 0 and 1 tenth. We have a 1 in the tenths place value. It's 1 of 10 equal parts. This model is divided into 100 equal size parts, and only one of the parts are shaded. That's 1 one hundredth. We can write it as 1 hundredth. We can also write it as a 0 for 0 ones. A decimal point, a zero in the tenths place because we don't have any tenths, and a one in the hundredths place value. This is one hundredth. It's one of one hundred equal parts shaded. We have learned to locate fractions on a number line. and We can label the number line with decimals that are equivalent to fractions. Our number line starts at zero tenths, we see it written as a fraction and as a decimal. And it goes all the way up to one whole as ten tenths. We have one tenth written as a fraction and a decimal. Two tenths written as a fraction and a decimal. And it goes all the way to ten tenths or one whole. And tenths can be written as a fraction or a decimal. And the tenths represent numbers between zero and one whole. Decimal place values are based on the number 10 as tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, and so on. And the place value of a decimal tells us the denominator of its equivalent fraction. We have three tenths that tells us as an equivalent fraction the denominator is going to be a 10. We have 3 of 10 equal parts. Above my board, I have many place values. We can see here's the decimal point. Let's take a closer look. Here's the decimal point. We have our ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, and it keeps going this way. And to the right of the decimal point, we have tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousands, millions, and it keeps going on to the right. We can write a mixed number as a decimal. Here we have one whole. They're all shaded. There's ten equal parts and all ten are shaded, so that's ten tenths. Here we have three tenths shaded. We have one and three tenths. And it's written as one and three tenths. It's equal to putting a 1 in the 1's place and a 3 in the 10th's place. We have 1 and 3 tenths. 
and we read the decimal point as and one and three tenths. We can label a number line with decimals that are equivalent to mixed numbers. Our number line starts at one as one and zero tenths and goes up to two as two and zero tenths. One and three tenths and it's written as a one in the ones place, the decimal point, and a three in the tenths place. Each place value is ten times greater than the place value to its right. A thousand is ten times greater than hundred. A thousand is equal to ten times one hundred. And 100 is 10 times greater than 10. 100 is equal to 10 times 10. 10 is 10 times greater than a 1. 10 times 1 is 10. See? This 10 is 10 times greater than a 1, and this 1 is 10 times greater than 1 tenth. That's why our number system is called base 10. Each place value is based on the number 10. For writing a mixed number as a decimal, we see the whole number 4, that's going to go in the 1's place, and our 2 tenths, we're going to write a 2 in the tenths place. We're going to have 4 and 2 tenths. For 9 and 6 tenths, we're going to write a 9 in the 1's place and a 6 in the tenths place. We have nine and six tenths. We need to write the fraction or mixed number and the decimal that's shown on the number line. We look on the number line, we see it starts at zero for zero tenths and goes up to one as ten tenths. And look, we've got a dot here, we've got a point here. We have a tenth for a denominator, a tenth for a denominator, and a tenth for a denominator. This number line must be marked as tenths. We can start at five tenths and count six tenths, seven tenths, eight tenths, nine tenths, and that's reasonable. That makes sense because the very next one is ten tenths. This must be nine tenths. We can also write it as a decimal. We can write a zero, then a decimal point, and a nine. Now, some people, when they write the decimal, they don't put the zero there. They just put the decimal point and the nine. And it's easier for us if we put a zero there because it helps our eyes. If someone doesn't see that decimal point, like here, or our decimal point is not very dark or you miss it, you could think that it's a whole number nine. By putting the zero and then the decimal point and then the nine, we know that that's nine tenths. On this number line, it starts at zero as zero tenths and goes all the way up to two whole as two and zero tenths. Here's one and zero tenth. We can see all the denominators are tens, so we know that this number line is in tenths. We see that the point is right here. It's right before one and five tenths. We can start at one and zero tenths and count one and one tenth, one and two tenths, one and three tenths, one and four tenths. Yes, that's reasonable. It makes sense because the next one is one and five tenths. This must be one and four tenths. We can write it as a mixed number. One and four tenths. We can also write it as a decimal. We put a 1 in the 1's place and a 4 in the tenths place. Here we have a word problem, and it's actually a word problem. Look at that. We have words. We have a table here, and as you can see, we have a lot of words. And over here it says the parts of speech. We have nouns and verbs. It's telling us that the word factory is a noun. The word shout is a verb, acre is a noun, neighbor is a noun, and it goes down. It says what part of the words listed in the table are verbs. 
and we need to write our answer as a fraction and as a decimal. So we think, well, how many words are on this list? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten words, and we need to find what part of the whole list are verbs. Well, I see shout is a verb, so that's one. And we keep going down and I see, ooh, disappear is a verb and believe is a verb. So out of a list of 10 words, three are verbs. Three of 10 are verbs. We can write that as a fraction. We write it as three tenths. We can also write it as a decimal. We write a zero in the ones place, a decimal point, and a three in the tenths place. Now it's asking nouns make up what part of this word list, and we need to write our answer as a fraction and a decimal. Well, if there's 10 words in all and three are verbs, and it looks like all the rest are nouns, we can do 10 minus three, that leaves seven. That means seven of 10 are nouns. We can write it as a fraction as seven-tenths, and we can write it as a decimal. We write a zero in the ones place, a decimal point, and a seven in the tenths place. Dave baked two pumpkin pies. He cut each pie into 10 equal slices. If 12 slices were eaten, what part of the pies were eaten? We need to write our answer as a decimal. So we think, well, this pie was cut into 10 slices, and this one was cut into 10 slices. That's 10 tenths, and that's 10 tenths. That's one whole pie. That's one whole pie. They have the same denominator. We add the numerators, we get 20 tenths. And out of 20 tenths, 12 were eaten. That means 12 tenths were eaten. And 12 tenths is equal to a 10 tenths as a one whole, plus a two-tenths. That's one and two-tenths. We can write it as a decimal by putting a one into the ones place. We have our decimal point and a two in the tenths place. We can represent a mixed number as a fraction greater than one. We learned how to do that in video 7.6. And remember, whenever you see this, that means they're linked in the description. Or we can write a mixed number as a decimal. Here we have one and seven-tenths. If you remember, we take the whole number and multiply it to the denominator, 1 times 10, then we add the amount of the numerator. So we have 10 plus 7, that's 17. We write it over the denominator. For a fraction greater than 1, we have 17 tenths. We can write it as a decimal by putting a 1 in the ones place, a decimal point, and a 7 in the tenths place. See, that tells us the denominator, 7 tenths, that's the place value. Try it again. We have 4 and 1 tenth. We're going to write it as a fraction greater than 1 by doing 4 times 10 plus 1. That's 40 plus 1. And then using that denominator, we have 41 tenths. We can write it as a decimal by putting 4 in the ones place, a decimal point, and a 1 into the tenths place. Again, we have 3 and 8 tenths. We're going to write it as a fraction greater than 1 by doing 3 times 10 plus 8. That's going to give us a 38 over that denominator 10, 38 tenths. As a decimal, we write a 3 in the ones place, a decimal point, and an 8 in the tenths place. See? Here we have 2 and 3 tenths. We do 2 times 10 is 20, plus 3 is 23 over the same denominator, so we have 23 tenths. We can write it as a decimal as 2, a decimal point, and a 3 in the tenths place. In our next video, 9.2, we're going to relate hundredths and decimals. Stay strong, stay focused, and have a great day. Bye.